everybody hello welcome so what you see here is yakuza like a dragon uh so basically what i'm doing this video to if you are new to yakuza games uh maybe uh you'll start playing them after seeing this video so basically i never play yakuza game when i saw it it just looks like something that i wouldn't enjoy i just skip it all together i never touch yakuza game in my life However, uh, the game is available via Xbox Game Pass and also if you are an extra subscriber or premium is also available uh, via PlayStation Plus and I'm playing this one on the PlayStation 5. So I told myself like, you know, many other games uh, before that I actually was just skipping many games. But when I start subscribing to uh, Xbox Game Pass, I start discovering more games and then my my the games that I actually enjoy playing kind of shifted. And then I try to play, at least give it a try, some games that I probably before that would never touch. And I was blown away how good this game is. And I'm th this type of person, you know, that a uh, gamer, that just, if I see a lot of story, I probably if the story is not good, I'm getting so bored. I just keep it all together or just skipping the story. And, uh, but again, if the story is good, I'm sticking in. Like The Last of Us, for example, was amazing. But here, there's a lot, a lot of cutscenes. And usually there are many players who can just get bored by it. But if the story is good and interesting and the characters are dynamic, like in this game, uh, you're going to enjoy the ride. And actually, that's what I did. Usually just stop, move on to the next game. But I just kept watching and watching and watching because this was so much fun. It's like I'm watching a movie, a good movie. Of course, like in many games, uh, there are some cringy moments. And of course, th this is not Hollywood quality stuff, but still very, very well made. And I really like the fact that how the characters changes, how the story changes and shifts. Uh, in very, very, relatively short time and I think that's actually what led to me actually wanting to follow it because there's so many changes and uh, interesting turns uh, in the story and yeah, basically it was very interesting to watch. Bitch and moan about it afterwards. Time for you to die. Let's do it. Cool. Check this out. You're gonna cry. Oh, yeah. Check this out! Come on now! Now the cool thing about having this uh, invested in the story is because then you are kind of emotionally invested and once the game actually starting, once you stop playing the game, you get much more... Um, uh, enjoyment out of it because you're more connected with the role uh, of your character inside this world and things become more more fun more engaging more interesting and more emotionally moving when you actually uh play the game compared to if you just started from the beginning with just i don't know like one minute intro and this is something the game taught me that even though you have a uh, long cutscenes, especially at the beginning uh this is something that actually led me to enjoy the game more Especially when it's a game where you play a certain role and, uh, you know, you need to make certain decisions and, you know, you're more involved in the combat feels more exciting because you want to beat those characters because you know what they've done to you or not have done to you or how they, what role they're actually taking uh, in the story. So you just feel more emotionally involved uh, when you're playing a game like that. Aside from that, uh, this is a turn-based game. We also have some real time. So if you want to block, for example, you need to block it at the right time. But it's generally a turn-based game. And actually, I didn't know. I mean, fighting game, how it would be like turn-based. It turned out to be amazing. And it's kind of weird because, again, it's, as you can see, it's a melee combat. Uh, you can actually pick up things if you're close to items. You can use different skills that you get and unlock as you progress. The visual effects are absolutely amazing. It's all included also with voice lines. Uh, and really beautiful visual effects. The game looks very, very good. I'm not saying just I fell out of my seat, but it looks very, very good running on the PlayStation 5. Now, the game is very highly rated. It's Steam, it's 10 out of 10 with uh, close to 13,000 uh, reviews. Uh, so yeah, people like it. And I didn't know why it's, why it's so praised, you know, and I, I didn't even see the reviews before. I just saw it's available on X-Ray and told myself, oh, well, let's give it a try. Let's see if it's any good. 
And yeah, and it turned out to be amazing. Aside from that, I really enjoy walking in the streets of Tokyo and also other areas, which reminds me of, you know, the time when I was in Japan. I spent several months in Japan. And it, it's just, you know, I really enjoy kind of walking in the streets of Japan. I felt like, like I'm back there touring, you know, uh, as a tourist, just walking in the street and enjoying that much. One of the things that I enjoy in Japan that much is actually just walking in the street, doing the simple things, just walking, visiting the stores, you know, just enjoying the daily life. And actually, in some way, I was able to enjoy it in this game as well. Both can dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. <laughs> ah, Namba. This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's do this! Now, as you progress, uh, different characters will join your party. Some of them will leave, some of them will join later. Uh, and it's really funny because they find, you find out there are different abilities. And of course, you can uh, play with them. Like you see here, this is an NPC that I met. Uh, and I can just use his skills now. He's part of my party. Now, look at the environment, how detailed it is, how beautiful it is. It's really well, well, well made. You really feel like on the street. It's not like those games that you just feel like low quality and it's not interesting. The environment is very well designed. There are also some really cool and fun mini games to play on the way, but it's mainly about combat. So I know there are going to be some of you who will tell themselves, oh man, story, I can't stand it. I tried even Persona 5 and it was like that. The story was so long. Uh, so basically, again, if you, are, if you care about the story, uh, you'll be in for a really great uh, ride. But you might not like this story. This is something else. But I can tell you that it's definitely worth your time. And if you have Xbox Game Pass or you are a subscriber, PlayStation Plus, Xbox subscriber, maybe it's available for the Plus. I'm not sure, by the way. Uh, I think it's definitely worth trying out. Uh, for me, I didn't care because I enjoyed the story. I was just sitting down, like eating something and just enjoying a good story. And when action comes, I enjoy it as well. So the story was interesting for me enough to, you know, to continue and playing the game. And of course, as I told you, at some point it will open up and it will be more action uh, than uh, cutscenes. But again, it just really builds up the story very well at the beginning. Uh, so we're going to be really invested uh, in, the, in, this, in the RPG element, in your role in this game, uh, more than you thought. Because again, it just takes you to, uh, uh, to get more emotionally connected with the character. Which is, you know, in many games that I play, it's either not done at all, or I just keep it all together, or I don't care. Or just poorly done in this game it's actually very very well made so basically it's creating empathy towards the character uh which is again it's so well made that i think many of you even those of you who don't really care about the story of stories that much in games might be connected well with this one so having said all that uh the work for you was to tell you that this game felt different for me a person a gamer where it's Probably before that, we just skip all of these Yakuza games uh, from what I've seen. Uh, I thought maybe it's just going to be a boring uh, kind of RPG with melee combat, but it turned out to be great. And part of it is because of the story. Uh, now, I don't know how the others are. Of course, I didn't play them uh, yet, and I'm still playing this one. I haven't finished it just yet. But it can definitely tell you that it's worth checking out at least. So if you are among those who look at Yakuza games and you told yourself, I'm not going to touch it. Maybe you should. Keep in mind that you can also have voice lines both in Japanese and English. Uh, so you can choose between them. If you want a more authentic experience, you can choose Japanese and have uh, subtitles. Or if you want to just hear and don't want to read subtitles, just turn it into English. Uh, and you can just hear the character speaking English. Again, both of them are very well made. So bottom line is, maybe you're going to discover a game that you thought previously that you are not going to enjoy and then it turned to be one of the better games that you play. Maybe. You need to give it, a, at least give it a shot uh, like I did. And as I told you, this is one of those games that are just, I thought before that they are not for me. Or maybe they weren't for me before. And when I start playing more games that are different and discovering more games via subscription services, I kind of built up something that lets me to at least try some games that otherwise I would skip. Because there's so many games out there, you can't try them all, so you're going to pick anyway. But again, when I have those subscription servers, I can just download, try it out, try a few minutes, it's not for me, move on to the next one. I tried this out, it was for me, I didn't move to the next one, I stayed and I enjoyed it a lot. 
Hopefully you find your quiz games to be fun for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.